All right, I just want to talk a little bit about Aerotech components with graphite nozzles. Um, so what we got here is, you know, a brand new phenolic Medusa nozzle. This is a more classic single throat phenolic nozzle. And this puppy is graphite. Um, so you can see it's, it's pretty similar to the phenolic single throats with the exception it's got an extra O-ring gland here. Um, so what ends up happening is this graphite nozzle is going to sit in the case like that. Um, and so you have to shorten your phenolic liner to make up that difference like that. So here's a standard 854-852 liner. Here's one chopped down that I burned already. So I'm actually about, about to cut this one down and we'll assemble the motor and do a static test fire. All right, cool. So I cut that down. One way if you wanna check your cut for square, I just put it in my, my motor case. And you know, as long as it matches that, it's a pretty square cut. Um, so we're gonna assemble this like a basic 54-852 reload, except we're gonna use that graphic graphite nozzle. Um, I bevel the top of my grains. So we're just gonna put all the beveled tops facing up. And then we're gonna grease all our O-rings. Uh, I think I have two new O-rings and two used ones. So that works for me, you know, I inspect them, do that at your own risk, essentially. So I'll take one of the used ones and that'll be my extra nozzle O-ring. So that'll be the one going here. That one isn't so much for sealing as it's just, well, it's trying to prevent too much of this thing from heat soaking the case really. And the new thick O-ring, we'll put that up top where there's going to be, you know, at the forward closure is where the highest pressure is. I also go ahead, I build it like a standard 54852. So I use a little O-ring on the shoulder of the nozzle here. And that goes and seals the phenolic liner to the nozzle. Do not seal if you're going to seal the bottom, don't seal the top. you got to let this vent somehow or it could crack. Um, so I suppose instead of phenolic insulating disc, you probably could use the metal forward seal disc with an O-ring here and leave this O-ring out. I haven't done it that way, but I don't know. You could try. So I also like to lube up the threads. And then where that phenolic liner does hit... Um, I like to put a little bit extra lube there. Um, I've noticed the anodizing on the inside of the case is kind of kind of wearing out. <laughs> Essentially at that interface where gases are escaping. So, I don't know. A little extra lube can't hurt, right? So, we're going to go ahead... And put that in. Just enough. So the used O-ring, I think that was that one. Go ahead and put that down there. I like to just start the aft closure. Put your phenolic liner in. This is the new O-ring. Oh, I'm out of frame. Phenolic liner's in, new O-ring. And I've got this kind of custom floor closure. I had a buddy whip up on the lathe. Um, it uses the uh, forward closure. I forget what they call this ring. It's the one you use with the reloadable adapter system. Um, and then this is just a solid aluminum closure with a eighth inch NPT tap for my uh, pressure sensor. So that goes on top. Oh, um, my test stand needs this thing in there. 
so I gotta just put a motor tube on first. <clears throat> and then screw in that forward closure all the way because that's where the most pressure is when this case fires. So max threads there. I go ahead and chase the rear closure up. And you should have about a sixteenth of an inch on the back here if you've cut them properly. Let's see, I don't have my micrometer here, but it's about a sixteenth of an inch. Maybe a strong sixteenth. Cool. So my open motor pressure transducer goes there and we're gonna fire this. Cool, so this is the test stand setup. Bathroom scale, Altus Metrum open motor and a little Nomex sleeve. Let's see, GoPro to watch the scale and this camera to watch the burn. Actually, Cool, and I'm gonna run behind my garage and touch this off. All right, here we are after firing that. Um, so using the thermometer, the nozzle normally gets around 460 degrees, you know, in the NFPA limits, like what, 480, 485 degrees Fahrenheit on a case over, I think, 160 Newton seconds. Anyways, um, but because we've got the series of O-rings that space the graphite from the case, the back of the case right after firing is always around 260, 280 for me. Um, so you can see that forward o-ring and insulator disc look like that not bad i've cleaned this up a little bit already so that, that's no worse for wear um let's crack this open and see what it looks like in there but you can see these o-rings do get a little toasty i don't reuse these after a firing um and honestly i normally have to pick them out with a pick just because that graphite gets so hot Let's see, that's the aftmost one. You know, maybe you could reuse that, but it's not worth risking a couple dollar O-ring, right? And these ones get real, real toasty. Uh, there's, you know, the liner. Liner's a liner. The case looks pretty good. You can see, see, this is the forward portion. That's where I get a little, seems like a little bit of gas sneaks past that phenolic um this phenolic disc here and then this is what it looks like before you clean it on the rear let me try to get a good good angle of light for you here there you go so that's what that looks like by the nozzle i always put the nozzle by the doctor in dr rocket right here um that's just how i do it but yeah there's really the anodizing is even scratched it's just a little dirty in there so I'll clean that right up. Oh, and this was a pretty low aluminum. It was an 80% solid with 4% aluminum. This is my favorite part of graphite nozzles. It just, slag just comes right off. And actually this was, <coughs> it was a 21 60 fourths. Hold on, let me pull that drill bit out and let's see if it opened up at all. Cool, so this is a 21 64th bit. This is what I actually use to open that nozzle up from 30 thou or three, 300 thou. And that's still a barely any erosion. In fact, I can't, <laughs> I can't get that through there as a gauge dowel because of the, it's a little dirty. So almost nothing eroded out of there, which is awesome. <laughs> 